Hi, Jessica. How are you this morning? I'm my good. Is, my name is Luke. I'm your nurse. Hi. And I'll be doing some, a little bit of questioning for you today, and I'll also be doing a head to toe examination. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. If at any point you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be happy to stop what I'm doing and get your questions. Okay. So, first thing I want to do is I want to ask, ask you some questions. All right. Um, Okay. So do you know where you are right now? I'm at the hospital. Okay. Do you know about what time it is? Um, like lunchtime. Okay. And do you know why you're here? I'm here because I have some abdominal pain. Okay. And do you know what my name is? I know you just told me. Yeah, know. it's Luke. Okay. And who's the president? Obama. Good. Great. <laughs> Great. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling a little bit better. I am kind of hungry though. Okay. Well, we can order breakfast for you once we um, get this out of the way. I'll okay. be happy to do that. I'll be out with that. Do you have any pain? Um, the, my abdominal pain is still present, but it's definitely getting better. Okay. Now, if you to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being no pain, and 10 being the worst pain you ever felt in your life, what would you rate your abdominal pain? Um, I'd probably give it like a 4. Okay. And could you point to where the pain is? Yeah, it's like right here. Right there? Okay. And where's your belly button in regards? Right here. Okay. okay. So, like right, right of the bottom one. Okay. Now, we do have medication order for you, so we can give you some of that if uh, it persists, and then we can help that along. Okay. So, now I'm going to start my examination. I'm going to start with your head. Move on down. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at your head, see if there's any new bumps or bruises, anything that wasn't there before. Check the back of the head. You? Thank you. Now I'm going to check your eyes. I'm just going to shine a light in your eyes. Check to see if your pupil changes in size. Okay. Look at the bridge of my nose. Check. Other one. Okay. And now just look straight at me with the tip of my thumb. And just as I move it closer to you, just watch the tip. Your eyes are what we would call perla, which is pupils equal round reactive to light and accommodation. You just right. absolutely. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so now I'm going to test your peripheral vision. So this is going to look a little strange, but just tell me when you can see my hand. Does it look straight? Okay. Tell me when you can see my hand. I can just, see it. You can see it here? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Right here? I can see it. Okay, great, great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine a light directly at the bridge of the nose. Okay. Just look straight into the light. Okay. Thanks. Now I'm going to check your ears, nose, and mouth. Okay. Ears, nose. Good. Good. No nose. And could you open your mouth? Say ah. Uh. Okay, everything looks good. Great. Now I'm going to look at your neck. I don't see any abnormalities. Your veins look great. And your windpipe, your trachea, is in the right spot. So now I'm going to feel for your thyroid gland so if you could swallow for me. Great. Now I'm going to look for your lymph nodes. That one feels great. That one feels great. So everything looks good here and here. So now we're going to do some lung sound. I'm going to listen to your lungs. Okay. I'm going to do the back first. All right. So if you could lean forward. And whenever I move my stethoscope, if you could just take a deep breath for me, that would be really easy for me to hear. All right. So now I'm going to do the front. Same right. thing. Anytime I move my set, so just take a deep breath. It makes it a lot easier for me. Okay. Great. Now I'm going to 
this in your heart. So I'm going to put it, set a scope at the best place to listen to the heart. Do my question. Okay. Now I'm just going to take your pulse. Thank you, Mike. And when you're taking the pulse, just make sure that after you're done, you can take the respiratory rate by watching her stomach. You don't want to let her know that you're checking her respiratory rate because she will become aware of her own respiration and then you get in that moment of reading. So your pulse was 60. That's well within the normal range. Now I'm going to listen to your vowel sound. All right. And you said the pain was where again? It's on the right of my belly button. Okay. I'll look at that a little more. Okay. Thank Right of your belly button is low, right? Mm -hmm. Does this hurt? Just a little. Just a little bit? Okay. So just a little bit of tenderness there. It's, does it it's hurt? It's doable though. It's not as bad as it was when I first came in. Okay. Does it hurt when I come here? No. It's really just some sensation. Okay. It doesn't seem to be distended at all. So it's just a little bit of tenderness. We'll see if we can get you some medication to help. All right. Now I'm going to test your extremities and your range of motion. So first, could you touch your neck like this? Try to touch your shoulder. Can't. Okay. And forward back. Great, great. Now just push against my hands. Forward and back. Okay. Now with your arms, what I need to do first is just grab my fingers, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze tight. You're not gonna hurt me. Okay. Now just raise your arms straight. Side. You can't really do back, so just kind of. Just to show that you can move them in all directions. Any any pain when you're doing any of that? No. Okay. Now I'm going to inspect the drum. Don't see any new bumps or bruises. Everything looks good. And the same in this one. Now we're going to do the feet. So just push against. Push against. Great. And now I'm going to check a pulse in your foot. Okay. We don't count how long pulse is, we don't take a rate, we just check that it's there. So, a lot of people don't know that there's a pulse in the foot. <laughs> and I'm not seeing any sores on the foot, so that's great. Now let's look at the legs. Any questions so far? Not really. No? Okay. <laughs> Legs look okay. Can you move them up and then push down? Okay, everything looks good there. Let's cover you back up. Don't want you to get in the cold. <laughs> okay, so that's all of my examination. It wasn't too bad, right? No. So is there anything I can get for you? Just order lunch later. Well, yes. Anything <laughs> besides ordering lunch? Um, not really. Okay. If you think of anything, you can just press this call light. Okay. All you have to do is hit the big red button. I'll set this right next to you. I'm just in your. You're comfortable in this position. Um, you can lower me a little. Well, so I can yeah. Finish taking my nap. Yes. Just tell me when. Um, right there, sir. Oh. And now I'm gonna lower the bed to the floor. And that's just a safety precaution. Anytime we're not moving, the bed has to be lowered. Just in case, if you want to get out, it's a little bit easier. Okay. And if you have anything, other questions, if you need anything, just don't hesitate to press that call light. I'll be All back right. in about an hour to check on you again. Okay, thank you. Thanks for helping me work on you. Of course.